I'm Nina, creator and tour guide of Potty Mouth Tours. The truth is, I've always loved bathrooms. Some might say it's a small fetish. With Potty Mouth Tours, I'm on a mission to discover unique, outrageous, and even uh-oh bathrooms. Then give them a voice to tell their stories. So let's go check this shit out. of Scum of the Earth Church. Just to prove I can count, we have discovered the East Garden, explored a baronial archaeological stash, experienced some ADHD, and now we will unveil the one that gave me the in awe face. <laughs> this women's bathroom we're gonna see was added after the church was kicked out of the building for not needing fire code. Apparently, the church was required to install separate men's and women's bathrooms. So, the pastor Mike asked church member and local artist, Naomi Haverlin, to carry on the church's notorious, beautiful bathroom reputation. And voila! A new, unique, artistic bathroom was born. Naomi reveals that most of the people who go to some of the earth are like the bathrooms unique and artistic. To incorporate this talent and some slogan, the left out, the right brained, and the grace of God, as well as the symbolism of redemption, Naomi transformed a space that's usually considered mm, scummy and exalted it with beautiful art. As I previously mentioned, teamwork is a common theme in all four of Scum's bathrooms, and this women's bathroom tops the list for collaboration. And this here is testimony. 20 different women from the church turned something as lowly as a toilet seat into fine art. Can I get an amen? Naomi points out there's a wide range of styles and mediums featured in the different toilet seat art, which represents the people in the church well. More proof of teamwork is portrayed in the penny tiled walls. It started by Naomi setting out collection buckets during services and everyone in the church donated their pennies. The collection was a huge success. The large tub of pennies was so heavy she couldn't even drag it across the floor. People not only donated their pennies, they donated their time. Tiling the walls with pennies turned out to be a much more daunting task than Naomi had anticipated. About 20 more people stopped by in shifts to help with the tedious task of gluing the pennies one by one. Even with help, the task took three months. Reprieve came when Naomi discovered tiling the floors with pennies would be too risky for foot traffic. So the pennies tiled just the top half of the walls. And our first peek inside the stalls is at Naomi's toilet seat design. Offering a fun and creative twist to bathroom reading material, Naomi wallpapered inside the stalls with Bible pages. She picked a Bible with the best font and to her surprise, used almost every single page. Just like you save pennies for a rainy day, Potty Mouth Tours saved more of this bathroom's story for later. For insider information about these and other bathrooms, just head to our Bathroom Tours blog. While you're on PottyMouthTours.com, stop by the Potty Village to upload your own bathroom photos and score t-shirts and hats at the rest shop. So you don't miss our new releases, Subscribe to Potty Mouth Tours YouTube channel.